Welcome, Admirals, to another boring video from Ray Rivers Gaming. We're playing the Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, and in this um, video, it's going to be a um, harbor video. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, go into the attack on Savannah, and this is uh, what I've got following the Battle of Harm Rum. Harm Rum was pretty easy battle and it's probably in my opinion the last of the easy battles okay what do we what do we okay so so here so now i'm going to discuss what i'm going to do to um get ready for the battle of savannah and we need to think we need to we need to understand a couple things first clash Okay, when we ran into that um, um, heavy uh, frigate, uh, French frigate, Clash told us that our boys and our ships weren't ready, okay, weren't ready to take on good ships from the French Navy. And that's what Clash told us, okay. And if we're going to go into the Americas, we're gonna, uh, we may very well end up fighting more of those guys. And so... That told me I need to upgrade my ships and my navy. Okay, that's the first thing to take away from that. All right. In, um, um, what was it called? Filthy Smugglers in the Battle of, uh, of, um, Filthy Smugglers. Right. In the Battle of Fil Filthy Smugglers, this is the first battle where, um, you have to fight the land battle all by yourself. Now, this is very much, um, you know, it's one of those things that happens, I think, in, in the way uh, game labs put together their, their um, games. And that is you will have a, a period where you're being helped um, for certain battle in the battles with um, allied forces. But then there comes a point where the allied forces disappear and now it's up to you so no more you know no more no more soldiers for you you got to make your own army no more ships for you you got to make your own ships so filthy smugglers told me no more armies for you and after fighting the battle of harm rum i have a feeling it's going to be no more, no more easy. Here are some ships for you. Okay, so we're now on our own, both, both at sea and on the land. All right, and we have to prepare for that. So let me let's take a look at the situation after Harm Rum and what I did in general um, to prepare for the Battle of Savannah. All right. So of course, first we're gonna first we're gonna repair all these ships and just to take a look at what's going on. I'm gonna be talking in general because I did this. Um, I did this. Um, um, I have plenty of. Uh, you see, I've got plenty of reputation here. So all of these trophies add to my fleet. I add to my fleet. Okay. And all of these guys. All of these guys. Shipyard. Um, let's see. Let's see. Who were they? Okay. So we have the Jean, Jean Bart. Jean Bart. Jean Bart. So I sold her. Ariane, I'm going to sell all the um, prizes. Ariane and the Alexander. Even though she's a good ship, huh? And she's probably and she's probably better than the Galga. Okay, she's a better ship than the Galga. Okay, but that doesn't matter. All right, because she's still a sixth-rate corvette, and and it's time for me to get my navy up to at least all fifth rates. So she's going as well. So Alexander, 
Goodbye. Okay, so that's that's the first thing I did. All right. All right. Now, like I say, I need to upgrade both my fleet and my army. And what you see here is, you know, these guys are. I got four pretty good units here. Um, and I've got three transports. So let's take a look at the Whitby, shall we? So the Whitby here, the Whitby is a 1,000 tonner, okay, which is a lot better than a 390 tonner. I can carry a lot more stuff in there. And her crew actually is not bad, okay? A one-star crew. So that means I could put her in. I could t take all these guys with with one-star stats. That's three hundred crewmen there. Three hundred of those guys, and put them into my um, into my reserve to use for other things. Okay, to use for other things. Okay, and one of those other things, for example, could be, you know, um, let's go to the Devonshire here. Okay, she's maxed out. All right. Okay, so, so I can put 21, 21 of those guys in there and using that reserve with those guys there it will it will almost certainly leave me at three stars lark lark let's see where we are here we are we are come here okay so lark can go to 304 so we can add five guys there. She gets her second star. Galga. Again, you know, with just rookies. I can upgrade a couple of her, her, uh, a couple of her, um, um, sailors with just recruits and, and she's still going to maintain her third star. So, so that tells me that Whippy here, which is way more than Atham Crew, she's got all these guns which are limiting her uh, her um, her weight. Okay, upgrade that. All right, so she's thousand. All right, would be and where's the Doncaster? The Doncaster. The Doncaster's there. She's not bad, you know. She's not bad. Remember, I I used her in one of my battles there, um, to provide uh, gunfire support. But once again, we get rid of those. And um, and we up her um, up up the amount of uh, weight that she can take. So I got three. I have three three transports, and I've got two with a one thousand. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put her to reserve, and I'm going to put her to reserve, and then. I want to put these guys in the whippy. Now go back to uh, the black pool over here, and we're going to take away our, our captain, and then. It's goodbye, Blackpool. Okay. 
right, building up my money here. All right, so. So now let's 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 take a look at the uh, pearl. Again, she's a one star, and not bad, and and pretty good, huh? One hundred and seven guys there. And let's take a look at her officers. Okay, her officers, her commanders, not bad, huh? Look at that, very very consistent officer there. Okay. And her second command is quite good too here, eh? Look at that. That especially perception. Okay. So what I do with the um, pearl. All right. Let me see here. So what I do. I said I got these. I got these twenty guys over here. So I'm not sure what I did with them. I think. I think I just added them as reserves, because they're kind of poorish quality. But I think I could do that without without affecting uh, my guys here oops I forgot to take them from reserves I took them from reserves all right and the bond same way take them from reserves so I messed that up okay but so 420 upgrade her okay and there we go so we used up all of those those 20 guys that we had thrown into reserve okay and the next thing was the pearl and I dismissed these guys upgrade that these guys in reserve and then it was goodbye pearl all right and this is what I was left with okay so I'm left with I'm with left with three frigates three frigates and a six rate sloop which really is getting old in the tooth and needs to be changed. I need a better ship here. Okay, and when I look at the um, harbor, I have another Her Hermione class frigate there. And I also have the San Silvestre that I had that I captured before and I sold it. She's still there, okay. And uh, looking at her top speed, 14.4. Hermania is, is faster, but she is a hundred times less than the other frigate. So, you know, there's your, there's what she looks like. Okay, notice her speed is 9.6. Here's the bond, and she's at 7.2. Okay, a Diana class frigate, 7.2. That is way too slow. And that is way too fast. Lark is 8.2. Galera, 8.1. So what I'm faced with here is I, I've got to I've got to increase both my um, both my my navy and my army. I gotta make you know, I mean, I could do with not messing about with my Navy at all at this point. But I've got 64,000 up here. And that tells me I need to do something about that. So let me, let's me let first go over here. Here's my career points. And what I did was I put them in crew. Okay, so now I'm going to get 25% of my casualties in battle are going to come back to me after the battle. And that's really important because when you're talking about two and three star um, um, crew here, sailors, 
Marines or whatever. I mean, those guys are expensive. Okay, and so are their weapons. And if that means that 25% of those guys who got who got um, killed in battle or wounded in battle comes back to your force, that's a big savings of money and experience, especially experience. Okay, building up that experience is not easy. Once you get them up there, you want to try to maintain them as best as possible. So that's what I did there. And then, and then in the, um, um, in the research section, okay, I've kind of been, um, neglecting this, but it's time that I do something because like I say, my, you know, my adversaries are getting tougher, so I need to make my ships tougher. All right. So I went here, okay, which makes your shift tougher, tougher, and I bought that, and that's going to add a lot of weight. So at the same time, I bought. Where are you? There it is. Gun carriages too. Okay, which reduces weight. Okay, so this is going to increase weight. This will reduce weight. So I bought that as well. Okay. All right, so we, let's go back to our ship. So what that did was it meant that now I can start upgrading my fleet. And, and increasing... Increasing my military, okay? All right. And here's my guys here, right? Basically, I'm using some, somewhere around 185 here as a, um, as a standard. And what I did was here, what I, what I did was I went with lightweight hull, gives you plus 10 um, capacity, okay, uh, 110, one, 1,110 tons, and then for the whippy, I did the same thing, okay, lightweight hull, and so I, I increased their capacity there, okay. Because I plan to fill those slots, okay? I plan to fill those slots. I've got 107 guys here. And they're not bad, huh? They're not bad. So, I think what I did, I don't remember exactly, okay? I'm just going over kind of what I did here. Okay, is I bought, I bought um, some mortars. Okay. And now what we want is... What we really want here is firearms and stamina. So this guy here, he looks pretty good, eh? I mean, he looks really good. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel that. Okay. Before I did that. Okay. So now, so now, all right. Now we're, now we're, we haven't really got to the point where we we're gonna start spending some money here. Okay. So the next thing I did, the next thing I did was, um, with the exception of the captains, okay, I got rid of, I took out all of my officers, I took away all of my officers, okay? And the reason that I did that was I wanted to reassign them to make sure that 
I've got the best crew in, in my ships in the places where they're needed. So, for example, Devonshire has Nelson. And you can see Nelson has some really good stats. I'm, I didn't even bother taking her away. Okay. Really good stats. Intelligence at, uh, at 96. That, that's, I mean... His stats and look at his stats. His, his lowest stat is 76, 64, 64 in strength, okay, which is um, stamina. And then on the bond, here is Rear Admiral uh, Delgarni, and look at look at that those stats. 100 across the board, okay. Now, now another thing to bear in mind is when you go into these land land battles you'll get a chance, or even in naval battles, you know, I mean, you get a chance to um, send marines and sailors into the land battle from your ships. And normally it'll be anywhere from two to three. Okay. When I get a captain this high, or even Nelson, okay, he ain't going nowhere. He's staying in that ship. I'm not going to put him in a land battle where he could possibly get killed, okay? So don't even think about that. All right, so preserve those good captains, especially once you've got them up to here. Okay, so then I go to Lark, and let's see what we got here. And the nice thing about the, um, about the, um, how you hire a captain is that it will always highlight um, the attributes that this guy needs and it will always do it in um, who's better, okay? So this guy is better than this guy, okay? And he's even better than this guy, even though this guy has more intelligence. This guy here has far more willpower or morale. So it, it puts it actually in order for you, okay? You can see all my officers here. I haven't even gotten to the point where I'm... I'm, these are all reserve officers, I think. Okay, there you go. Now we're now at the recruits. All okay. right. So, so it makes it makes it very easy. It, 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 stop. Okay, it makes it very easy for you to see who is your best officer. So he goes in there. Okay. Now we go to Galaga. Okay, and. Obvious that uh, Commander O'Brien is the next best. So, because he look at those three, he, need, he needs three attributes. Commander O'Brien is by far the best, and I upgrade them. I, I'm not going to worry about the crew of um, the Doncaster and the Whitby, because if they get in combat, we're, you know, we we're we're, that that's. Um, Say goodbye to those ships. Doesn't matter how good their captains are. So anyway, so the next guy. Okay, and there we have. Just he. This guy is just pure dexterity, which is sailing. Okay, so we put him in there. And sailing, you know, I didn't realize how important it was. Okay, it doesn't. This just doesn't um, talk about sails and all that. It also talks about your modular repair. And your firefighting and water pump handling, so that when you to get a fire or when you start taking on water, okay, this is this is this tells you how good these guys are at at, at stopping those problems. So, sailing actually is a very important quality. All right, so now we go to Lark. Okay, and once again, okay, perception. This is firearms. Let's go back over here. Firearms, you know. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. This is for that's gunnery. This mate is going on my flagship. Okay. Upgrade. 
let's come back over here. Okay, because I want I I kind of want my best officers in this sh in these ships. Let's take a look at this one. Okay. She's really low on boarding. So we'll take this guy. Look at what that does to those stats. By having those the best officers in there that you can. So if he goes in there, let's come to the Lark. Okay, so we'll put him in there. And we'll put him in there. And the Galaga. Upgrade. So so I re I re I reassigned all my officers. And I think that's important because because these guys, based on what's going on in your battles, they're all their their qualities are all getting better. So it's going to be uneven, I think, in some places. So as, so a lot of times when I have a big um, change in in my my fleet, okay, that's what I'll do. Get rid of all your officers and then go back and reassign. Okay, so now let's go to this guy's captain. And once again, you know, it presents you. Look at look at all these guys I've got in my in my uh, in my reserve. Okay, but I'll need them. Okay, I'll need them. I'll need them for things like. Um, new troops, so new troops, you know, this stuff and this stuff here, this is important. So these guys will serve well for for troop commanders too. But I don't, I'm not sure if you're going to if they'll come up. Sometimes at the um, when you first start up a, a unit, you have to start with the more the lower ones down there. Okay, so for just for right now, we'll just assign her there. Upgrade there, and the same here, and um, we'll just put him in there as well, okay. And what you can also do, you know, see that's kind of overboard, okay. This is this is a merchant ship, okay, and you can just try other officers to see, okay. I see, I see, I mean, I mean, I don't really need. I don't really need. The best officer possible for these guys, you know, so, OK, so for, let's just upgrade him for, for example. All right. And then um, what I started doing was okay now i'm thinking okay now i need more more soldiers over here so let me see here so here okay you see there see there's some so that lieutenant that i put in the other one probably wasn't a good idea so cancel there so let's go over here and he's lieutenant and there's lieutenant so probably better to put like a midshipman in there. Okay, upgrade that. And here, midshipman, so he's okay. All right, so let's go back over here. All right, so let's. No, okay. So, didn't matter. That's pretty darn good, eh? So I created that, and then from my reserve, you know, cannons, they need to be good too. If you can get three-star cannons, it's, you know, mortars, it's good too. So I decided to go, I think, with like 100. Notice how all of this stuff is coming up. I gave them like 100 guys. Okay. 
but I think when I did it, I ended up with um, with a one star there. Like I say, I, I don't remember exactly how I did all of this. Now here are these guys. They're two stars. I want to take them up to 185. Not lose that second star. And there we go. Upgrade. Okay. So they're up at 185. And um, and as we see here, okay, before, you know, we've been using this sea service musket with a sword bayonet, uh, and uh, and almost all of my 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 troops because it's the best one I can if I can afford it. Okay, but now there's only 97 armory, so uh, that's the end of the sword bayonets. And if I want to keep bayonets. It means I'm going to have to use, I'm going to have to buy them now. Okay, so now it's going to come out of the shop. So once again, you're you're stepping up to a new level. Okay, it's no longer freebie time. You're not going to get free ships. You're not going to get free soldiers. You're, it's now you're going to have to earn your your way, and um, and use your money very wisely on to how you're going to do that. Okay, so we have I have a thousand of those in there. Okay, so I have 199 guys in there. A pretty good. They've got pretty good. Um, they got pretty good stats, eh? Or what happened? Oh, I accidentally, I accidentally sent that guy into my reserve. So now it's going to cost me extra money. So this is what I mean, you know. Um, 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 using my reserve, come up to 185, come up to 185, 185, upgrade. This is not a bad thing to do every now and then if you want to change your you want to change your um, perks for me strength and I like the assault course a lot okay and there we go so they're up to 185 I made a mistake here with these guys and I think I took just regular rookies and I brought them up to 185 okay so I cancel that so they're at 163 okay but remember, like I said, I've said to you before, if you're offered a third perk, okay, even if you know when you increase, um, if you're going to increase the amount of troops in there, that you might that that thing might gray out. Um, put a perk in there, even though you know you're probably going to lose it when you increase the um, the strength of the unit, because if during the fighting he earns a third star there's and you didn't put anything in there well he's just going to be fighting with those two perks but if you put it in there and then it disappears like that okay when he goes to fighting when he gets into the fight okay at, you know because of the fighting these guys are going to increase in their in their characteristics and and they very well may become a three star on the battlefield and if they do they'll start using that perk Okay, so always, if you're offered another perk, choose the perk, whether you're going to keep it or not, because you don't know in the future, they may earn it on the battlefield, and when that happens, they will start using that perk, okay? And then, and then I, and I'm going to do a couple more infantry here, but I go back to my, now, now I go back to my ships, okay, and now I say to myself, Okay, man, you know, you got to do something about your ships. All right, in that, in that fight against the um, uh, French frigate, the Devonshire um, got lit up, okay? I mean, she took a hammering, okay? Her weight's 712. Bond is at 950, okay? So she's much more able to um, take that kind of broadsides. 
But look, but look, look, look at look at the speed differentials here. Devonshire is nine point six, and Bond is seven point two. Lark is eight point two, and Gaga, Gaga is eight point one. So, so what I've got here is I've got these two guys are at eight. I got this guy at ten, and this guy at seven. So I'm going, ugh. You know, I got to do something about that. To, so that they're more, they're, you know, I mean, it's good to have one that's faster than the other ones, okay? But there's a good chance she's going to get all by herself or, but you know, but it's good for maneuvering and all that if you want to change these to all carronades to have a fast ship. But to be quite honest with you, I believe that it is the synergy of all of the, your, your Navy working together, which is which is the best. So you don't want you don't you know you have to you have to sail into battle you know and you're going to leave this guy behind because he's so slow so in this case here what happened with the devonshire I, now I, I start updating my my um ships and you'll see why i update my ships before i start adding some more troops here okay okay so what happens here is as i said okay this guy needs a he needs more. He needs more protection, because that uh, French frigate just really was hammering him. I mean, including the hull. Okay, so I go here, and I say, okay, well, double hull. That's why I got double hulled frames. That's why I, I um, researched it. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Okay, and you see, when I do that, it increases the weight. So I can't do that, you know, because it's 712. But I can do that because over here, what I do is I just bring these down. Uh, see, you see, I just bring these down in weight until they both match up. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so now I can put that on there. And upgrade that. And I upgrade that, and I just sent 51 really good sailors into um, my reserve. On the bond, she needs to go faster. Okay, so what did I do here? Um, I think I used early copper sheathing. Okay, so she gets an extra knot. Okay. Remember, she's at 7.2. Everybody else is, this guy is at 10. This guy's at 8. This guy's at 8. She needs to go faster. So I took that. And once again, you know, you see that you're overweight here. But you go over to your crew. And you just start bringing your crew down. Bring your crew down until you are within your weight limits. Okay, come on. Yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Although I think what I did first here was I put um I put um, a light, lighter weight, um, lighter weight um, gun carriages. But I think because of the money, I only used the, um, the, um, the first one. I think I put that in there, okay? Upgrade that, and then I think I put, then I put, then I put that guy in there. No, I put, I think I put the second one. Yeah, the second one. Yeah, double hold, okay. Okay, 
means you can always manipulate your your crew to uh, so then I upgrade that I upgrade that now I got 93 and look at their look at their um, their characteristics very good characteristics those are th those those boys are 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 three stars okay I'm working with the bond and the I know both of those are three stars okay and the lark here she's got a second a second star here you see do not ever let's see let's see what she's doing for she needs more in the boarding section here so aren't we I, th I think this is the better perk at first I was using this but you know plus 25 reload speed which means she's going to be a quarter slower in firing you know you know I don't want to handicap my guys even though it means that I have more accurate all right I think I put him in there And then if I take off this, oh, I see she she doesn't not very long before she's overweight. Okay, upgrade. All right, so now I'm at ninety three. I think that's what I did with my fleet, and then um, and then I turned around to um, my my military my marine corps and i added another another um a fusilier and another um marine unit here okay so but that's generally how i did what what i'm doing here okay and why i'm doing what i'm doing here okay she she's still really fast huh 9.6 and here i'm not sure yeah i think i put that in there too huh to get that extra knot and so now to drag these guys back down i think they're going to come back almost to optimal Okay, upgrade, upgrade. And now she's at 8.2. And I have 179 soldiers in there. And look at, look at, look at that. 179 soldiers. Those are three star, these are, those are three star soldiers. Okay. And, um, you know, you split those up. And I've got 13,000. And you add, you add um, regulars, you add veterans, and it's going to end up with um, a couple of uh, new units who are um, two stars. So I think that's what I did, and the thinking behind it. Okay, we'll have to see. I, I must. I might have done something different here. I don't remember her being still that fast. But now Bond is it has definitely, because of that perk there, she's up there so that she can stay to get she can stay with the rest of the fleet here, all right. Instead of always following behind, so that's what I did. That's basically what I did there. In total, so let's see. Load. I always before really um, important battle. I always do a I add a harbor save in there because like I say I I do this sometimes a couple times okay in this case it took me two times before I was really satisfied and to how my my fleet came out so we, we what we can see so here we go and yeah she's at 9.6 still really fast okay Bond, there you go, up to 8.2, like I said, Lark, 8.0, Galga, kind of left her, 
and now let's take a look at our military. Okay, and so here's my military. And what happened was I made a mistake actually, and these guys were a third star, okay? And I, and I, I don't know why I had the money, I had the resources to keep that third star, but she's only like about five soldiers from her third star, so I expect she will come back as a third star. And look at this guy. Out of nowhere, this guy came with a third star because I used these um, sailors from these two ships, taking away from here, putting them into um, uh, mouse. mouse. Come on. My mouse all of a sudden isn't working. There we go. Okay. My mouse stopped working. Okay. So let's go back over here. Okay. So using the ship, the, 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 the sailors from these two and possibly even this one, this guy here, I was able to create a, a three star fusiliers out of, out from nowhere. As you see, the my gun has got one star, which is really important. He needs to be good too, huh? So he's got good firearms. He needs stamina. This guy is screwed up. But in general, so I've got six infantry units here, a supply unit. Okay. Because this guy and that that supply unit is going to be going where wherever this mortar guy goes okay to keep him in supply so he can just keep pumping out the shells all right and that's that's how that's how um um basically i set up for this um battle at savannah and i not i was so i was not only able to increase my marine corps and quality Marine Corps, but at the same time, um, I um, was able to do a, a number of things that I wanted with my ships because we were starting to get unbalanced. Okay, this guy's still really fast. And I think I double thought slowing him down. Okay, I double thought slowing him down. Because I thought, I was thinking, maybe there's an advantage to have one, one ship that can go really fast. All right. So, the rest of these guys, you know, doing good. Lark's only two-star crew. And like I say, I would like... The poor Galga, sixth rate sloop. It's time for her to go. So, so she, this was probably her last battle, and with the amount of with the amount of rewards here, sixty four thousand, sixty five thousand. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be able to easily buy a, a new fifth rate um, frigate and equip her imagine you know i mean okay she's got 200 sailors at three stars okay and here's these other guys they've got 262 280 270 so 200 crew i'll be able to buy i'll be able to to get um 250 crew a 250 crew frigate, fifth rate frigate, with 250 men, and maintain that third star. So there you go. And here, yeah, once again, the Doncaster. I think uh, I'm looking good for this. Well, who knows? Okay, I overdid this here. Okay, overdid this here. But I think I need, I think you need 25 men per gun. So that gives me four guns, four mortars there. I think that's the way that works. It's not easy really to, to tell. And you look at this, look at this thing. The range, 
the reloading time. Look at the reloading time. Good God. And the damage. Okay, so even though you can shoot over people's heads, okay, the, uh, the, the range isn't very long and the damage isn't very big. So if he's going to have any effect in a battle, you're going you're gonna to have to basically place him somewhere and leave him there. Okay, because these guys, as long as you're, if you're moving, 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 your, your um, artillery and then stopping and then let's fire, they're not going to, they're not going to really be able to provide you with the kind of damage that's going to really help your army. You need to try to move your artillery as little as possible so that they can just keep firing. Just fire, 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 fire. And that's also why that's also why I took a supply wagon. Okay. Notice, you know, my officer I took there very low. I've got two thousand five hundred in supply. Um that's why I, that's why I also bring a supply wagon, is because yeah, there are um supply points. But they may not be where I wanna put my where I want to put my um, my artillery. So this guy is going to be, these two guys are going to be kissing cousins. And there you go. There you go. That's it. That's what I did. Toughened her up. Sped her up. my career points here and you know with just with just crew training with two in there with 10% of crew training these these guys really rank up really fast huh? but anyway so I think this is really important right there and where I made a lot of mistakes at the very beginning I I, I I'm actually quite happy with how I'm I'm going on my tech tree now. So this means 25% of, of casualties come back to me from the battle, period. And that is money in the bank and experience that you don't lose. And this is gaining me experience faster. All right. After this, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to go for. You know, just like crew over here with a couple of their officers over here ramping up their training. Maybe one or two there also could make a big difference. And then probably headed, I don't know, maybe maybe a couple in tech or but shipbuilding is going to be the next big one. Okay, just to start um, decreasing my um, repair costs. I think this is going to get, get real important here, especially when you we start getting into bigger ships, okay, like third rates. And so you're going to have a third rate. Hey, you're not going to be fighting sloops, okay? You're going to be fighting other ships and taking damage. So um, I'm pretty happy with how this has all been moving so far. Um, the the amount of ship damage hasn't been huge and um but my crews have been training up really good but i'm gonna have to start thinking so my so my so my generally my army is pretty good and I, i'm not sure you know i think she'll be they'll be good for a while huh? so next i'm gonna have to start um Focusing on my ships more, Be better ships. And there you go. That's my, um, that's what I did in my harbor for this upcoming uh, battle in Savannah. Um, like I say, I think this is um, what you see now is you are now for sure on your own. It's what it's your army and your navy against the AI 
So I think when once you get to Savani, it's probably an important point where you need to have a pretty good navy and army to go forward. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I mean, it was just for folks to understand what is my thinking behind choices and, and, and so forth and why I'm doing things and how I'm looking at the future for it. I mean, it's a strategy game, right? So you got to think for the future. So Until the Battle of Savannah. We'll see you later.